Hey Arsa here, you're welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you the best study resources for secondary school or GCSEs. I'll be sharing some secret websites for both studying and concentration and also where to find free online notes so you don't have to waste time making it yourself and where to source past papers. So I'll start with some websites for studying skills. Some people learn best by mind mapping. If that's you then you should be using XMind. It's a website but it's also got an app that you could download. It's an online mind mapping tool. You can use the basic version which is free but if you want more flexibility and more components you might have to get the paid version. Some schools already subscribe to XMind so you can check with your school to see if you have a subscription and you can use that. If not you can use a free version. Second one is Mammoth Memory. The website uses visual learning aids to help you remember keywords, phrases and even ideas you need to succeed in your exams. Third website called Successor School has loads of articles on study skills, revision planning and revision techniques that you might find helpful. And keys an app that allows you to create flashcards as well. Loads of students use this app to create, study and revise from flashcards on their computers or mobile devices. Moving on to the second part of this video which is websites where you can find good study content. First one is GCSE Pod. It's a comprehensive revision and learning resource. They have three to five minutes bursts of GCSE learning known as pods and they're designed to be used as part of your revision plan. The only downside about GCSE Pod is that you can't subscribe individually so your school has to be subscribed to GCSE Pod to allow you to use it. And then we've got the big boss itself, BBC Bite Size. This website has got revision tools all the way from Key Stage 1 to GCSE level. Also has content for the Scottish Standard Grade. I'll put all of the links in my description box so you don't have to remember every name that I'm mentioning. Just go into my description box and you should find all of them in there. Revision World is another good website. They've got loads of study information as well as if you're not too sure whether to go to university or do an apprenticeship, they've got loads of information on that as well. Kind of Academy is another primarily US based website that has loads of universal information which is still useful to UK students or students in other countries. Subjects they cover include math, science, computer science, history, economics and finance. Save My Exams has lots of past papers and revision notes for a wide variety of GCSE topics. Moving on now to some subject specific websites. For chemistry we have ChemRevise which is a website that has loads of succinct notes. It breaks topics down and gives you ready made notes on things that you need to know for your exams and it's a super useful website i'd say definitely check this one out chem revise physics and maths tutor the name is a little bit misleading it doesn't just have content for physics and maths it has content for all of the sciences so biology chemistry physics maths computer science economics and even geography for physics you have cyber physics revision material for secondary school pupils all the way from age 11 to gcse level the history learning site has lots of information covering gcses mr macmillan revise is a youtube channel with loads of information for people studying religious education. Revision Maths is a website that gives loads of exam advice when it comes to studying maths along with revision videos and has an online tool to help you create your own timetable that you can follow. Corbett Maths is a great one as well if you're studying maths and they have promised to make all of their online resources free unless you want to print out any worksheets you might have to pay for. Other than that all of their resources are free online. Moving on now to some language specific websites so the first one being Memrise. Memrise has free flashcard type resources for many different subjects but it works best for learning language vocabulary. Duolingo is a great website for revising the most common modern foreign languages that can be studied at GCSE. These include French, German, Italian, Spanish among others. The course requires you to write whole sentences and the more popular languages have listening and speaking exercises. Next website is French Revision. They have interactive French exercises exercises in listening, reading and writing for GCSE exams. The exercises mark themselves and a score is given at the end. Now moving on to where you can find good past papers. Physics and Maths Tutor, they've got past papers dating all the way back. You can also find past papers from your respective exam board. So if you're with AQA for a subject, go onto their website, you should be able to find past papers. If you're with Excel, OCR, just do the same thing. They should have past papers available. I'll end this video with a couple of concentration apps. So if you struggle with your concentration when it comes to studying, these two apps might be really helpful for you. First one is Get Cold Turkey, and it can be set to block anything from specific web pages to the entire internet. You can also allow exceptions, block applications, or even use it to lock yourself out of your computer. The second one is called Self Control. It's an app for Mac users to block distracting websites. 
notes. So there you have it, a couple of website applications, free online notes and past paper sources that you can use when it comes to studying for your GCSEs. I hope you find these helpful, try them out, they've been really helpful for me and loads of other people that I know as well. All the best when it comes to revising for your GCSEs. If you have any other good apps I didn't mention, feel free to share them in the comments section. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you like, comment and subscribe and share with anyone who might need it. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.